Shabbat Shalom. I'm wearing my Camp Kef shirt, which I love wearing on Fridays here at Betchi Ra Congregation. One more exciting week of Camp Kef. I want to focus on a strange phrase, which I'm sure many of you have come across, and it does appear in Parshat Akev, among other places. And it is, circumcise your hearts. The mohaw I used in uh, New York was my congregant, Harvey Marchbein, explained it in the following way. He said, there are three things we circumcise in addition to the foreskin. We circumcise our ears so that we will hear those who are less fortunate than us. We circumcise our hearts so that we will give to those who are less fortunate than us. And we circumcise our lips so that we will speak in ways that are deferential and respectful to them. And you can take it in a different order than that, but that's what he always said at a bris, and it stuck with me that obviously these are metaphors. And we have people who are uncircumcised lips, namely Moses, Aral Svatayim, which meant in that context that he stuttered. He did not speak clearly. And someone who has circumcised lips presumably would be one who would speak clearly in a way that would be heard. An uncircumcised heart would mean someone is not feeling. Someone, there's a layer covering up their heart that prevents them from feeling what they need to feel. And of course, an uncircumcised ear, there's a blockage. They don't hear what is going on. And so I challenge us to always be mindful that we are hearing and hearkening to what is being said so that we get the real message rather than making assumptions. Shema means not just to hear, but to hearken. That we make sure that our hearts are uncircumcised so that they are feeling what we need to feel in any given moment rather than being numb to it. And that our lips are uncircumcised, meaning that we speak in a way that is not blocked, that is not uh, um, delayed in any way, but that we actually communicate the essence and sincerity of what we want to communicate to one another. Ken Yehi Ratzon may be our will to do so. Shabbat Shalom.